Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem that has to do with two expression compares, uh, con, con, expression mats, and we're going to compare these expression mats using some legal moves of simplification. So I'm taking this problem specifically from, um, this is uh, CPM and it's CC2, and this is chapter two closure. Okay, and this is number 291. So it says write expressions for each side of the expression comparison mat, and then use legal moves to simplify and determine which is greater. So I'm going to actually first write them as is, right? Write the expressions as is. So on the left side, my expression would be, if I look on top, I have two positive x's, and then I have three positive ones, so plus three, and then a negative one, so I could say minus one. And then minus, and then parentheses, what do I have? Minus what? Down below, 2x minus 2, right? Because it's two negative 2s. So it's 2x minus, or you can say plus negative 2. So this is the left side based on what I see here. On the right side, let's write what we have. Again, in this, in this case, I have two positive x's. And then I have a, a negative x, so I'm going to write minus x. And then I have two positive ones plus two. So that's the expression for the top part of the mat. And then on the bottom part of the mat, so it's minus, right? Because the, the bottom part is a, a minus, minus the quantity. And again, we've got two positive x's, um, a negative x, so minus x again. And then I have a positive one and two negative ones. So plus one and then minus two. Okay. So those are the unsimplified expressions. So we can then take and uh, do some simplification using the mats, as well as I'm going to show you how to do it using algebra. So I'm going to do that first, the algebra part. So the first thing I want to do is eliminate these parentheses by um, distributing that minus, right? So I'm going to rewrite it, 2x plus 3 minus 1 minus 2x, and then the minus 2x, right? Because that's just a positive 2x. But then we have a minus minus or minus negative. So minus minus or minus negative becomes all plus 2. And now it's just a matter of combining like terms. So my like terms I've got are, if I look, I've got here I have 2x and I have negative 2x or minus 2x, right? So include the sign in front. So 2x minus 2x. I'll just circle those so we see that. 2x and a minus 2x, those go away because they cancel each other out, 0x. So now it's just looking at the numbers. 3 minus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4. So the left side is 4, right? And so let's let's look at it, this left side simplifying using the tiles. If I did that using the tiles, again, what do I see? I have a positive and negative on top. Those can cancel. I also, I also have 2x's on top minus, right? two x's on bottom so those also cancel each other out and then i need to take these other two tiles that are on the bottom move them to the top and when i do they flip over and they become positives so what's left is one two three four positive four which is what i had here so let's do the same thing over here so i'm going to rewrite this without parentheses so two x minus x plus two and then remember that minus sign distributes and changes all the signs so it's minus 2x and then minus minus makes it plus x and then minus plus makes it minus one it changes that sign and then minus minus again makes that plus so it just changes all the signs and then we can combine like terms so i have a 2x a negative x a negative 2x and a positive x so if i look the 2x and negative 2x those cancel each other out Negative x and positive x cancel each other out. Once again, all the x's are gone. So then I look at my numbers. 2 minus 1 is 1, plus 2 is 3. So 4 left is greater than right, 3. So how did I get this 3? I can show you as well with the tiles. Remember when you have a, opposites on the same portion of the mat, they cancel. So I've got that happening twice. My x's, opposites x's, and let's see, I have, a, I have a positive one and a negative one down here, so I can cancel those out. And then I have the same thing on top and bottom as well. I have a 
I have an X here and another X here, positive X, positive X. One's in the positive, one's in the negative, so they cancel each other out. And then all that's left is this single little tile. So I'll bring that up to the top and it goes from a negative to becoming a positive. So if I count what I have left, I have one, two, three positive threes, three positive ones, which is three. All right. So there's simplifying using algebra, simplifying using the tiles.